Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of HOM 7, uh, The Lost Tales of Axioth, the Unity Campaign. Episode 14 is upon us. We were kind of rushing our way to victory, maybe? Maybe that's what we were doing. Maybe that's not what we were doing. Only time will tell. I believe we still have a little bit of time left before we must go and do battle with everything else. We're, we're getting close, guys. We're getting close to running out of time, but we're not quite there yet. Alright, we shall claim this place in the name of the Emperor. Oh, no, there's no Emperor, guys. Let's just go and do some murder. Some trants. We should be able to slap the trants and make them cry and weep openly. It's going to be fine, guys. It's going to be absolutely fantastical and fine. Alright, ooh, they've, they've moved my spells a little bit. You're all supposed to be down there. You're all supposed to be over here. And you are going to guarantee two deaths, following it up with a uh, triple death. And the victory is more. I know, it's pretty impressive. Try, to, try not to act like you're so super impressed, like we all know that you are. Alright, so with that being said and done... Uh... I guess we can go over there and kill that, too, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure what the best course of action is. But it seems as though it's this, so we're going to take it. Green Dragon, join me! I will not join you! You cannot... I feel like we're not getting the money that we should each week. Don't... Shouldn't we be getting over a thousand each day? Shouldn't we be getting over a thousand? Oh, he doesn't have the items I thought he had. What happened to the uh, offhand thing and the boots and stuff? Like, none of that carried over? you think that all the stuff that we had would have carried over. But apparently it all resets each and every map, which seems very odd to me. It does seem very strange. Well, that explains why we're not getting any cash, I suppose. It does make sense in a weird, roundabout sort of way. Can we quick combat this, or do we have to fight it? Probably don't have to fight it, but for argument's sake, let's just do it and get it out of the way. Alright, speedy creatures, come forth and prepare to die a horrible, awful death. Alright, well, we can start with implosion, which seems pretty legit to me. And we shall implode you. It will be glorious and sweet, sweet, nice style. And then we shall blastify you in the face and shock you and all that wonderful, fun stuff. Then we shall wait. And now the Harpy of Doom, or the Fury of Harpy Doom, I don't know. It's going to come over, but we're going to blast it with our Water Elementals. And then we're going to blast you with our Water Elementals. And then we're going to Lionize you. Lionized! Oh, you have 3 HP left, really? That's the thing, huh? Well, no longer. And in the end... They stood not a chance, nary a chance, against our superior awesome. I shall gain one more maximum mana thing. Uh, we don't really need to kill that, but yeah, we might as well. We might as well. Can we just quick combat this? Do we really have to fight this? Yeah, we really have to fight it. Alright. Let's just send in all of our troops to die for no reason, because we're super smart. Alright. And with that, the green dragons of leaves and dirt and whatever else is here, it's, it's fine, guys. Ooh, an 11 16 for the damage. And then, of course, the freebie easy kill. I know. I'm not super impressed either, folks. Not super impressed either. Alright, it looks like we need to start heading our way back to El Botio. And I'm trying to think, is there any... I suppose we could still visit these places with good old Furlon. I don't know if we both need to be on a different ship or something, or what the deal is specifically, but... 
Also, I'm curious as to what's over here. There's a school of war. Mm. We probably don't need to do anything with those. I don't know. Time will tell. We will not be getting the very most out of the map, unfortunately. Yay, Furlon, learn new spells. Woohoo! Everybody rejoice. Everybody dance. If you know what I mean. Alright, so we got that one. We got this one. Where was the other one? Is there one like right here? Yeah, there's one like right there. We should do that one. Meanwhile, Genevieve, in all her awesomeness, is going to aboard the ship. The week of the antelope, the lion's favorite week. We have boarded the ship, and now we shall go around and gather up goodies. That's right, goodies. Then we shall trivially fight with the mermaids. Of the waters of doom, we shall play this manually so as to not draw attention to ourselves. We shall begin combat, and it is here that we shall destroy all enemies. That's right, all enemies are dead, or going to be dead soon. Alright, let's say good day to you. And who are you going to hit? Huh. Didn't see that coming. Not gonna lie, it's a bit surprising. Alright, gonna waddle on a bit closer. Going to use my awesome superior awesome to superiorly awesomeize you. That's right, with it, you see, it looked like he whipped out a little hammer and he smacked him with it. I could be totally wrong, but I don't think that I am. So there's that. Alright, we shall eliminate the four. And now it is our time to shine. Or dance or do something. I don't... It's, it's whatever. Alright. We shall throw a heal onto our little compatriots here. And we shall get ever closer to our ultimate victory. Really? That was your play? They hit the water elementals? That did seem a tad silly. And would you look at that? Nobody died. I know. Shocking to outplay them so hard. But I did. Why? Because I'm a superhero. And that's what superheroes do. I know it is a little shocking. I wonder what those boots are. Do we have boots with her? We do not. Hmm. The prospect of boots is pretty good. I mean, they don't really stand much of a chance against us, so I suppose we can do battle with these guys. I'm pretty sure we're going to end the mission, the level, in this particular... Um, sorry, this particular episode. I'm like, I don't understand, but it's, uh, okay. I understand a tad bit more now. Alright, so if we implode you... That did not bring everybody together like I thought it would. Also, I have 40 invisible people that are over here that I don't know who or what they are. Or fire lizards, maybe? They're underground or something? I don't, I don't know what's happening. It's totally okay, I guess. I will attack and murder you. And I shall take you off the field of battle. Oh, there's ghosts right there, huh? Who knew? Good, you attack the water elementals, because that's not the dumbest thing you could have conceivably possibly have done. And the dragon is dead as well, and so are one of the groups of liches. So now, actually all the liches are dead, and it's just these guys that remain. High luck? No high luck. Uh, high morale? There is high morale. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, who are you going to hit? Actually, a lot of people. That was a bit off-putting. But do not worry, do not fret, for I have a plan. And I have a dream. No, I don't have a dream. It's just a plan, guys. 
Alright, well, he's gonna kill himself. And you're gonna hit my... yeah, my carpet rider. He is not gonna be happy with you. In fact, you are going to suffer the very, very painful experience of being on his wrong side. And likewise, the resurrection shall come and you shall fall victim to your own folly, sir. Your own folly caused this. Oh no! Please don't hurt me, whatever will I do? Be victorious as always. Alright. So we got some cool stuff. I believe it auto equips it. And it does. Very nice. So a little bit more cash money is going our way. Alright. Buddy. Well, we can send him back to get the green dragons now. I, I suppose that's something. Alright. Oh! There's a bunch of serpents over there. It looks like a hydra at this point. Alright, well, we'll have to start the combat again because we know how this is all going to work out. We just know. Something along those lines, I suppose. Wouldn't be unheard of. We'll pretty much mirror what we did last time. And it should work, right? It worked last time, only this time we'll move you forward. So you can take the hatred. Or not. Hey, you actually skipped your turn. I think that might have happened last time as well. I do not recall 100%, but either way, it's going to be pretty easy this time around. Even with our higher morale and not being able to quite reach, we will still be able to blast with multiple pains and sufferings. We'll be able to shoot with our you know, Illuminati uh, Pyramid of Doom, and I guess that's really about it. And then he's going to take care of all things. It's not going to be enough to destroy her, but it, you know, it'll be okay. Because we have lightning bolts that will finish the job. I know, shocking. Alright, so we've already seen that fight. We knew how it was going to end at the beginning, which is a little bit weird to say, but it's fine. Um, snag that up. I guess we can hit this. Go after this. Do we still lose people when we go through that? I would imagine that we would. Hey, there's some more boots over here. It's kind of exciting. Alright, but first, the green dragons are ours. Yeah! Alright, and from there, we can come over here and we can potentially level up, assuming we get a little bit more cash monies on our side. What do these do? Oh, these are even better than the last ones. Well, we'll take it, I suppose. We might as well. Alright, water blobule dudes. Hey, the sea pirates actually move pretty quick and fairly far. That seems further than we could move them before. I mean, I'm fine with it, but it still seems odd. Alright, so we will do that, and we will eliminate you from the field of battle. And I shall move up to entice you into attacking me. That That's actually better. I'm glad you did that. Don't be in time. Whoa, look at the ground, guys. What the heck? That looks very bizarre. Alright, there are no rebuttal attacks or kills or anything that these gals can do to our lions. Well, they cannot be defeated by mere tomfoolery and see pirate them. Or I am a bit concerned. Wow. Hmm. This could be problematic, to be honest. Um. These things take way less damage than I would have assumed that they would. Alright. Who's gonna attack what? Okay, that's fair. And then you're going to do this, which is not going to net you anything. I'm actually okay with that. I believe we have enough oomph to take you back to 
nearly full strength. Maybe not entirely. Alright, Water Elemental of Doom. Do your what? Not, not really, don't do your worst. Just, just exist, I guess. Alright, we're gonna spam defend until it is our time to shine. Hopefully this is not enough to kill off that guy. I didn't think it would be. But, you never can tell. Alright, let us resurrect the final guy and then go for the kill. Victory! Alright, cool, cool, cool. Good, so if we ever make it back to land, we will actually be prepared for our inevitable victory. That is the wrong place. I believe I would like to swap these. And I guess if I had to, I could come down here and play with these dudes. These serpents of doom. Uh, how much time do we have left? What if I go through the whirlpool? I start gathering up the goodies on this side and get some more cash monies. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe a couple more levels for our boy. Because he is actually quite far behind everybody else. You know what, I'm just going to quick combat it. I'm probably going to have losses, but, you know, I don't really care at this point. What is this? Ooh. Shiny stuff. I don't care about it, though. I know it's a little bit sad, but I really don't care about it. Alright, can't quite make it all the way there. However, this should be enough to enable us to gain one level. No, 7,500. Oh, we have it. Okay. Very nice. Level up. Yay! I know you didn't get to do much this time around, buddy, but that's okay. That is okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Continue going down with the Prime Master stuff. It's it's okay, I suppose. Sure. Sure, it's totally fine. Alright, on the off chance that we actually need to do something important, I should probably start preparing for that in eventuality. I'm going to come back here, we're going to try doing battle with the uh, Tigers. Tigresses. Let's see, I am done doing battles for now. We're going to Whirlpool it back up, and then we're going to head down there after Captain Tiger Man does the battle. You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just do it now. Let's go meet up with the Serpents. We're probably going to be just short. Nope. At the first sign of their long, dark backs, Genevieve ordered the Storm Watcher's crew below decks. They would only be a hindrance. So, I stood next to Genevieve on the bow of my ship. The water elementals would support us. Genevieve insisted that if they died, she could just summon more. Here comes the first one, I said as the ocean parted to reveal a gaping maw. Come and get it, you slimy worms, Genevieve shouted. Dun dun dun! So we're going to be doing battle with Hydras, it seems. I'm okay with this, actually. I'm just curious as to how many... Oh, that's a large amount of Hydra. Alright, well, we're going to do the most damage we can to the largest group. I pull the Hydras together for support. And then we are going to do a bit more damage with this. And that's that for now. We're going to end up waiting quite a bit as the Hydras close with us. At least a little bit. We should be able to do some fairly massive damage, though not probably enough to eliminate anyone particularly. We're going to still do our very best to take at least one of these dudes out. Alright, aw, that's kind of disappointing. Can we do, uh... We can. Sadly, neither one actually it seemed a little underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. So are Hydras magic resistant? They, I feel like they are. Uh, creatures hits restore health equal in amount to half of the damage dealt. This also revives fallen creatures. The creature gains no health from undead and constructs. And it just hits, no, it's not magic resistant or immune. It's very odd. Yeah. 
All right, you get to move now, Serpent. And I shall do damage to you and call you Eduardo. We have the potential to kill here. We're going to give it a shot. Oh, with the high luck, we got it. Nice. All right, we're going to use implosion tactics right here. And bam, there it is. Then we're going to use a lightning tactic right here. Knocking him back and shocking this individual. And if we get super high luck again, perhaps... Nope. It's okay. I will accept the one death there. He did heal up off of that, though, which is a bit off-putting. Well, let's eliminate him so he's no longer putting off anything. I don't believe we have enough room to take this guy out without a loss, though. Which is a bit disappointing. We did decent work against him, but still, sadly, not enough. Alright, well, we're going to keep going at it. I'm going to attack him from this side. He is a construct. He should not heal off of us. Oh, he still hit the... Ah... Still hit the other guy. Super weak. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Alright, we shall implode you once again, Saya. Whoa! How did you end up way over there, buddy? I mean, I'm okay with it, but wow. I shall resurrect you, Water Elemental of Doom. And you shall now blast the Hydra with all of your considerable power and strength. And he's done. Alright, so we lost a few guys. Not too bad, though. Let's see what our total losses were. We lost 9 Sandstone Golems, 1 and 4. I can look at that. Sadly, those can't. Alright, the Tome of Nature, 50,000 experience points, and there it is. Took us one month, two weeks, and five days, folks, but we got through it. Not too bad. Alright, let's see what the next map brings. Only time will tell, well, and pretty much everything that happens after this point. I don't know how much longer this campaign's going to go. I assume there's going to be at least one more map, potentially two. Because we are now battling the Elemental Lords, or not the Lords, I'm sorry, the Elemental Mages that are angry. And I guess technically we defeated two of them? I'm not sure, though. I thought nearly being crushed by a tidal wave or swallowed by a sea serpent was bad. But now, we have come to the Isle of Mayhem. This is the only island in the Broken Isles that has a name. Perhaps as a warning to stay away. At least a dozen ships have disappeared in the waves around the, this temptuous piece of land. Storms appear in seconds, catching a ship unawares, and... There are stories about boulders the size of houses falling from the black sky. This island is cursed, and Genevieve says we must land there. Although I fought by her side against the sea serpents, Genevieve was the one who brought us victory. I feel I still owe her something. But to come to the Isle of Mayhem? I must be a madman. There are some of the most treacherous seas, or these are some of the most treacherous seas I have ever known. But the inhospitable coast of the Isle of Mayhem makes our task worse. There is simply no place to land. Still, Genevieve is not prepared to give up. Of course she's not. She's a woman. She doesn't give up. She keeps pestering and nagging. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. And uh, Girls. Girls, I'm kidding. Guys. It's true. It's tr Actually, my wife doesn't pester me very often. Every once in a while, I usually end up pestering her more than the other way around. It's, it's weird, I know. Alright, on Stranger Tides. Furlon must find his way through the dangerous waters surrounding the Isle of Mayhem and find a p safe place to land. Huh. Well, this could be bad. Could be pretty bad. Alright, what is this thing? It's literally a sign that says the Isle of Mayhem. Or we just go there and our victory is assured. I'm not sure exactly. But right now all we have is Furlon and his not super impressive crew that he is rocking. But, either way, folks, that is a tale for another time, as I am going to break off the episode right here. I know, shocking. Shocking, just as things start to get good, something new and exciting comes up, I end it. I cut your legs out before you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, guys and gals, I will see you again on the very next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. 
Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.